Now, Japan began the year 2024 on a rather bad note. The ill-fated flight Airbus A350 collided with a Coast Guard plane on the 2nd of January, setting both planes on fire at the Tokyo airport. The collision left five people dead on the Coast Guard plane, while 14 others reportedly sustained injuries. However, the crew members on the other passenger plane were able to evacuate all 367 passengers safely, averting any loss of lives. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has ordered for a probe into the incident, but let's in fact take a look as to how the miraculous rescue operation took place. Now, these are the images where the charred plane can be barely recognized. Piles of ash and debris is what remains. This after the plane went up in flames and burnt for nearly about six hours. Now, the only reason why so many lives could be saved was because passengers and crew were evacuated within 20 minutes of the crash. Experts say that modern safety standards combined with Japan Airlines' own rigorous safety culture helped in saving the lives. Within the second of the crash, crew inflated the escape chutes and those on board were quickly ushered off. This is more continued to fill the cabin. Only three slides could be used in the process because of the position of the plane. The fact that passengers left their belongings behind and followed safety protocol also helped speed up the process. Coordination between crew and passengers was critical here. Officials say that crew members undergo stringent evacuation and rescue training to handle days like this. The training takes place for up to three weeks and is repeated every year. The safety regulations have been strengthened after past mishaps. Japan had witnessed its deadliest crash in August 1985 when the Osaka-bound flight had crashed into a mountain shortly after takeoff and only four out of the 524 people had survived the accident. Till today, it happens to be the deadliest single aircraft accident in aviation history. Well, the probe is on. Japan has also released the transcripts from the fatal collision. It shows that Japan Airlines had been given permission to land while the Coast Guard aircraft has been instructed to taxi to a holding point near the runway. While the Coast Guard pilot says that he entered the runway only after receiving the permission. Authorities have recovered the voice recorder from the Coast Guard aircraft. The Tokyo police are investigating if possible professional negligence had led to the incident. Experts have highlighted the strong possibility of human error. I think the cause of this accident was not a mechanical issue from the aircraft, it was a human error. Now, the Coast Guard aircraft was due to deliver aid to regions hit by the 1st of January earthquake that was in which 64 people had been killed. The accident forced the cancellation of 137 domestic and four international flights on Wednesday. But emergency flights and high-speed rail services have been requested to ease the congestion. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.